Rifle ammo, blunderbuss. Ooh, a blunderbuss. Grenades. Ooh, I want to mess around with some grenades. Hey guys, welcome back to Screw Up. This is going to be episode three, I do believe. Uh, before we get started, as always, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support on the videos. It really does mean everything. It helps me out so much, guys. If you find yourselves liking this video, you could do me a huge favor. Go ahead and hit that like button and consider subscribing as well. We also have our own Discord here on the channel, and everybody is, of course, welcome to join that. And the link for that is going to be in the description down below. So guys, in the last episode, we were building our base. Now, I haven't gone ahead and done too much off camera because uh, I think I mentioned it in the last one, but uh, I'll mention it just to, uh, again, just in case. I don't know how much content is in this game, so I don't really want to go crazy doing too much without you guys. I know the game is in, obviously it's in very early access. I know very recently, I think it was like October or November was when this update came out that completely changed the look of the game. It doesn't sound like the developers have, um, I don't want to say been very active, or it's maybe taking them a little bit longer to get the next update out. I'm not really sure. I'd have to do some more digging into it. But as it is right now, I don't know what we've got to work with. And again, I just wanted to check this game out just to show it off to you guys, just to see, you know, if it's really going to go anywhere. I hope it does, honestly. From what I've seen so far, I really like this game. I really, really hope that it goes somewhere. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to see if we can get a couple more crafting benches going. There's a couple of things that we can craft. I did want to show you guys, obviously, that the base is finished. I put a little bedroll up here. Uh, I'm thinking I'm, I might want to put a chest up here as well just to keep, like, personal belongings in, um, or even if we die, then we've got something else to work with. So I think my first focus for today, guys, is going to be um, what of this stuff that we can craft. So we've got here the cauldron, there's a furnace, a mortar, a millstone, compost bin, and a fridge that look like crafting benches. There's an iron lock we can also uh, put on the base, but I really don't see a point for that because it's just me here. So I'm not really sure which one of these is the best one to start with. Uh, it's looking like we might want to go with for the mortar and the millstone. These look like they, they require some pretty basic resources. Or the, the furnace. Okay, the furnace requires blocks. Millstone requires blocks. Okay, so maybe we go for the mortar. This is just 10 stone and 5 hardwood. And it looks like the cauldron's going to take quite a bit, so maybe we'll wait on that one. So for right now, let's get our 10 stone and our 5 hardwood, and let's get the mortar going. Uh, I'm not really sure how we've got these. Okay, so it doesn't look like I've really started to do anything over here. Okay. I thought I had some wood, though. We've got branches and rotten vegetable in that one. Branches and fiber. Okay, all right. Let's come outside and maybe check our... Whoa! That was weird. The game... <laughs> The game, like, forced... I don't know you know what just happened. That was weird. Okay, well, let's check this. So we've got some stone here. We have no wood, for real? All of my wood got turned into... So it looks like I literally turned all of my wood into wooden planks. Now, we are going to probably need those for certain things. But I guess for now, then, what we're going to do... I did see there was a chest here that had some rotten vegetable. Yeah. We're going to put that in there. I'm not going to worry too much about the stone, because I can get that from right here. We are going to go and get some hardwood, though, and I'll show you guys where I get that. We want to go, we want to go this way. Let me get my spear out though, just in case we have to fight some fairies along the way. Oh, and you know what else? I'm actually starting to get hungry. So let's go ahead and let's eat and drink. That'll get us up just a little bit. Okay, so there's some fairies there. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna just cross the water here. Okay, and hopefully we can avoid that one, but this one we may have to fight. Or not. She might actually be stuck in the water. Okay, perfect. Alright. So this spear honestly doesn't do too bad against them. Can I actually get her? Are you stuck in the water or are you just chilling there? Must be a really hot day. Okay, we got another one. Let's just fight her because, yeah, she's going to come right for us. Nice. Okay. There they are. So these big pine fir... Um, I'm not familiar with uh, the types of trees, but these these pine trees or these pine looking trees over here, these are where we're going to get hardwood. I do want to keep my eye out. I know there's fairies over here. Yep. There's one right there. 
All right, let's get our axe out. And we're just going to come over here. We're just going to get a bunch of it. There's fairies down there as well. So normally when I come over here to harvest this wood, obviously a lot of it will, is going to roll down into that pond. So we're probably going to have to kill at least that fairy. Typically what I'll do when I go to cut these down is if I see a bunch of it like really rolling down the hill, like if they stop here halfway along, sometimes I'll grab them. But if I know that they're going to head all the way down there, I just kind of let them go because I've got more trees over here that I'm going to cut. And a lot of this wood's probably just going to roll down the hill as well. Oh, look at that. We got a single piece of resin as well. Oh yeah, that's just like all going for a walk. All right, let's at least get this tree. I'm not even sure how much hardwood we have. We'll have to look at that in a second. Now let's go ahead and let's grab any of these that we can find. Oh, I want that resin. And we are going to have to kill her to get that one out there. The only downside is there's no, to the best of my knowledge anyway, there's no way to turn the grass off. And sometimes these are a little bit difficult to find. I find the easiest way to find any that may have tried to sneak away is to just take a step back and just look at the, the hillside as a whole and a lot of times we'll see like just the little like dark shapes. All right, let's go ahead and let's kill her so that she's not a problem and we can grab that other one. All right, perfect. Okay, so we got, we got a decent amount. Well, we've got 35. All right, that's not bad. So I think the next thing that I want to do before we actually head back to base is I want to show you guys where to get iron and what the iron nodes look like. Oh, we do have to watch food, though. Um, I suppose we could just get some watermelon. Yeah, let's just get some watermelon from these plants here. That way we've got something that we can eat. We don't have to go all the way back to cook anything. Okay. You know what? I don't know how we're doing on meat, actually. So maybe we go ahead and we kill some of these fairies. And we'll grab some more watermelon. Oh, that one didn't have any. Okay, what about you? Nope, that one didn't have any either. You? You know what game? It's because I'm after it. Because I want watermelon, it's like, mm -mm, it's not going to be that easy. All right, fine, pumpkin. Take that branch, too. What do you give? Potato! Okay, I'm almost positive I've got pumpkin from the bushes that look like that, too. So maybe it's not as specific as I thought. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how the loot tables work. This get, definitely gives wheat, though. This one here, and we're going to grab that branch. But this, I know I've gotten a pumpkin out of these before, right? More wheat. Okay, so wheat seems to come from just the yellow bushes in general. So it looks like there's two different kinds. This, I know, will give me the red flowers, which I believe is needed to make some kind of health potion. We haven't got that far yet because we don't have a cauldron, but we will. Listen here, fairy. All right, uh, I want that fiber. Definitely want the red flowers. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I guess, uh... Okay, so that was another potato. Huh. All right. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Further testing is required. Okay, so now I have to figure out uh, which, which island I was on. Hold on, fairies. I'm just passing through, guys. Oh, there's a there's a thing over here. Let me open up the map. Wait, so... Oh! I'm going the wrong way. We need to get over here. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know, good to know. I'm glad I looked at that. Because when me and my brother first checked this game out, um, I don't even know when it was, last week or whenever... We set up on, eventually, well, we died a few times, and then finally we just set up wherever we spawned in, or really close to where we spawned in, and it just so happened to be a mountain that had a decent amount of iron on it. And I've, I've ran around the map quite a bit on a separate playthrough that I'm just kind of using as, as mostly testing and trying to figure things out, and I can't seem to find iron on any of the other mountains. It's either that or things just aren't spawning properly for me, but this mountain over here is where we were. Oh, we better watch our stamina. Okay, there's some iron over here as well. 
okay fairies you stay there we're gonna come over here yeah these things right here are what's going to give us iron and I definitely want to get a, uh, a whole bunch of that what is she doing up there oh oh she's coming maybe not really your path has got you stuck up there, huh? Can I even reach you? Ooh, can't attack in the air. All right, well, I wonder if uh, if she just has to chill there while we do this. The pick animation could be faster, in my opinion. Could be a little faster. Uh-oh, stuff's flying. Okay, there we go. All right, so she's not over here. So here we've got iron, stone, and flint. These are what the iron looked like. And then flint is these uh, coconut-looking things. And I'm not sure how much iron you're, you know, is like a general rule of thumb that you're going to get out of these nodes. I don't really want to break this rock apart to find out if anything got stuck underneath. She's just chilling up there. Okay, you were going to have to kill, right? You're going to be a problem? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's another one behind that iron node. Okay, all right. Well, you know what, guys? I'm going to get a little bit of iron, and then I'll meet you guys back at base, and we'll see what we can craft when I get back. So I will be back in a sec. All righty, guys. We are back from our little excursion. Um, I got about as much iron as I could carry. Uh, I also grabbed stone. The only thing I left behind was the flint, because flint is something we can get from these stones, and the only thing that I know of that it's used for is arrows, which we're not using right now. So I figured I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, first thing I want to do, though, is I want to come in here and I want to get our... What was it we were trying to craft? The mortar. Okay. I want to get the mortar going. Alright, so that's... No. Yeah, ten, 10 stone. Okay, so I need 10. Alright, 10 stone and 5 hardwood. Perfect. Let's craft that. Now, while that's crafting, we're going to go outside and we're actually going to cook some food because I am not doing a spectacular in the food department. Um, we have an apple. We'll eat that. I don't think there's anything else in here that I can necessarily burn. So we're going to put that in there and turn it on. Could probably take some of this stuff out and actually put it in chests. Let's see. Wheat. Yep. And we'll grab that flint. And the rotten vegetable. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... I think that's going to cook all of that before it burns this. So, let's go through and let's eat this apple. Okay, and then... I think we have a little bit of time. So, we're going to run in here. We are over encumbered. And which chest was it? This one right here. Alright, so this has got... We're going to put that in there. And then, what did I have going? There's rotten vegetable. So we'll put the wheat in there. More wheat. More rotten vegetable. Okay. Okay, and I can run. I want to come back here and check on our meat. I really don't want any of this to burn because we need it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's eat some more food. Does look like it's becoming nighttime, but that's okay. We finally have torches in our base. And we're going to eat all three of these. And I'm going to switch over and drink some water as well. Okay. Now, I want that. Oh, no. We've already got some of it spoiling. Okay. So, I mean, it's not necessarily the hardest thing to get the meat. You know, we've got an army of fairies over here. So, I'm not terribly concerned about it. I do want... I don't want any of this to really burn, though. Okay, and, oh, I did also get some gold. There was a, uh, maybe, what was it, like, two gold nodes up on that mountain. I didn't get a chance to show you guys what it looked like, uh, but I will get a cutout of it and maybe put it in a thumbnail, just so you guys can see what those nodes look like as well. All right, we've got a little bit more time on that, and then what do we have in here? Okay, I'm going to have to figure out where I want to put certain things. I was thinking that the woods could go, I mean, we've got... Probably going to be soft wood, regular wood, and then hard wood at the very least. We need a chest with stone. And potentially flint. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, it looked like I was going to do... No, no, no. I don't think we're going to need that much. And we'll put the iron in here. 
Put the gold in there and our food probably burned. <laughs> no, 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 no. Turn home. Oh. Wow, it takes... I don't know about that. We're just going to drop it. Okay, that's fine. And we'll just leave those there. Actually, put them down at the bottom so we can actually see what food we're working with. Okay, and you know what? Let's just bake this pumpkin really quick. Okay, so I do have some regular wood. We've got some fiber to put away. The dew we can make water with. And turn that off. Give me my pumpkin. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Now let's come back inside. And I don't know how much the fairies are willing to wander around, so we're going to close that door. We're going to come over here and put that in there. And then I can't eat this from here. How is our food doing? Oh, no, we're full. We're good. We don't need that. Okay, and then where was I keeping all the rotten food? Did I have a chest for any of that? It doesn't look like it. So I guess we'll stick that there. Or this won't turn into... No, no, this won't turn into rotten vegetables. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to put that there. We'll put that resin in there for now. I guess we'll put the flowers in there too. And we got some more stone. Nice, okay. Put the dew down on our bar. And I guess we'll hold on to that. Okay, let's come over here and let's check on our mortar. Nice, very, very, very good. Okay. So what's the next thing do we want to... Do we want to go for the millstone? We just need... We don't have 10 regular wood. I can get that though. That's not a hard... That's not, that's not a problem. Let's at least place this mortar down. I kind of want to see what the mortar's good for. Okay. Oh, it's little. I can't see which way it's facing. Or even where to put it. <laughs> Maybe let's put it like right here by the door. There it is. Okay. And what are we doing here? Okay. Gunpowder, pistol ammo, AR magazine, rifle ammo, blunderbuss. Ooh, a blunderbuss. Grenades. Ooh, I want to mess around with some grenades. Fertilizer. Okay, we can make fertilizer with the spoiled meat and the rotten vegetables. I wonder, that must mean that there's planting or there's going to be planting at the very least. Okay, all right. So not bad, not bad. Uh, we don't actually need any of this, though, except for maybe turning the spoiled meat and the rotten vegetables into fertilizer. I wonder if it turns it into the same fertilizer and it can stack, because that would be incredibly helpful if we can get rid of all this rotten vegetable. And we'll take that out. We'll just come over here and put that in there and put that in there. All right, we only have three of those. We have 27 of these. So let's go ahead and let's just make all of it. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that's the same fertilizer because then, they'll, you know, if they stack it uh, when all that's done, then that's going to save us some space. Okay. So stone blocks. Uh, let's see. We want to, do we want to go for the millstone? Let's maybe try going for the millstone. We need two stone blocks and 10 wood. And to get a stone block, it's three stones. So we just need, what, six stone then? Which chest was it? Not you. You. All right. So we'll just grab that. And then I think I have to go get some regular wood, which is not terribly hard considering it's right here. Let's make sure the door is closed. I don't know how much these fairies wander. Okay, we're gonna go for this tree here. So far, I gotta be honest, this game really is, for, for what it is and for the price that you pay, it's, it's pretty fun. Um, it does have multiplayer, but it seems like right now the multiplayer is a little bit questionable um it works it does work me and my brother were able to play it but eventually he got kicked off and we don't know if that was you know the game's fault or somebody's internet connection we're not really sure but it eventually got to a point where it just kept kicking him off and it wouldn't let him rejoin um so if you do decide to get the game and you do want to play the multiplayer darn it i could have had these going um you know just keep that in mind when you're looking oh that's only the three wood <laughs> Keep that in mind when uh, when you're checking this game out. Okay, where was where did I put all the wood? Right in here. Okay, perfect. Look at that. No, here, here. Okay, I am gonna have to go and get a whole bunch of resources, but I will do that off camera because I mean you guys aren't gonna want to see me just harvest wood and stone and all kinds of stuff. 
And one thing I can't wait to do is if we take our hammer and let's see here, and we come over here and we right click on this, we can actually upgrade it. We can upgrade this to a stone wall if we had stone blocks. Now, obviously I don't have any stone blocks that I'm willing to use on that, but that's another thing that we're definitely going to do. Okay, so that's done. So let's come down here and let's make the millstone. Nice, okay. Now where do we want to put it? We've got this room here that's pretty good for crafting, but we've got some space in here as well. This I was kind of thinking we could use as an unofficial kitchen. I definitely wanted to put the cauldron and the fridge out here for sure. Uh, so maybe the millstone could go over here. Maybe this corner, why not? Maybe we'll do that. All right, we got a couple more seconds here. Okay, there we go. So now let's put that down on our, whoa, it's big, okay. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to place that so far away. Darn it. Okay, well, you know what? It's there. Uh, okay, it doesn't necessarily tell us what to do with it. That's unfortunate. Um, oh, that's cool. I like, the, I like the little animation there. That's pretty cool. It's grinding things down. Okay, so what can we put in there then? This you're supposed to be able to make into a powder. Let's try putting that in the millstone. Right? Is this what it says? It just says, can be used to create medicine. Okay, well, if I turn this on... Oh, there it goes! Okay. All right, perfect. So it looks like it's three red flowers is going to give us one uh, powder. Okay, that could turn into a bit of a grind pretty easily. Not going to lie. <laughs> That's okay. All right, what's the next thing that we want to craft in here? Let's take a look. The furnace. Okay, we could craft a furnace, five stone blocks, and five flint. I think we have the five flint. The five stone blocks, that's incredibly expensive. Uh, yeah, we have the flint. Let's let's maybe grab that. Man, that's, that's going to be expensive. Okay. All right, so then we'll just put this in here and this in here. I have a, I have a feeling we're going to need to make more. Um, stone blocks for other things. And this was for the furnace. Okay. So the cauldron's going to need some blocks as well. We might as well just craft those. Charcoal. Okay. Um, do I have any wood that can be turned into charcoal? Let me see. I keep forgetting where all my stuff is. We have hardwood. I really don't want to use hardwood if I can help it. That kind of stinks. Uh, while those are crafting, let's go get some softwood, and we'll put some softwood in the campfire, and maybe see if we can get some charcoal out of that. I also see that my ha or my hatchet here is starting to get pretty low on durability, so I'm going to have to either figure out how to repair that, or maybe see if once we get the furnace going, we have enough iron to get into metal tools. That would be cool. Okay, I thought the fairy was coming after me. I'm going to come over here and grab a, a couple more. I'm not sure how much softwood is required to make charcoal. I would hope it's a one for one, but I'm not sure. Let's just grab a couple here. How many is that? 13. That should be enough. Let's come over here and check. Okay. Just stick you in there and turn that on. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So it looks like it takes two. All right, well, that'll be enough. That's, that's going to give us the coal that we need, or the charcoal we need. Now, um, the next thing, let's, let's close that. Just, there we go. If we want the cauldron, at least. Ten wooden planks, we've got that, no problem. Five stone block we're making, charcoal we're making. Five glass. Okay, so it's, it's kind of starting to look like we have to have the furnace first, because I'm going to take a guess and say that to get glass, we need to put sand in the furnace. So we're going to come out here. We're going to grab our shovel. And there we go. That looks like that's how we get sand. Nice. There is some sand. Okay. All right. Now, I guess the, the real question is, is there a, a limit on how many times you can dig? That was three that first time. Okay. It looks like after three, this little sand pile that shows up does not get any bigger. So three might be the limit. Let's see here. Okay, that's two and three. Yeah, okay. Three looks like it's the limit on at least the size of that sand pile. And what is this? Seawater. A salty seawater. You shouldn't drink this. 
Uh, it does restore thirst. We'll have to figure out how to turn that into drinkable water. Okay, turn that off. That's just kind of wasting things now. And let's come back inside here and let's see what else we can craft. Let's see if maybe our furnace is done so we can get this glass going. And we're going to put that in there. Furnace is not done because it's still making blocks. Well, that kind of stinks. Okay, and I guess the next thing is where are we going to put it? The furnace, I guess, is going to come over here. Seawater. Well, let's put the seawater away. I'm not really sure what to do with that yet. I don't think this has anything in it. We'll put the seawater in there. Let's throw our dew in there as well. Okay. A lump of fine sand. Okay. Okay, here we go. And then what else were we trying to craft? We have the millstone. Compost bin requires something called goo. Matcha, moki, cocoa moki, salty moki. Okay, so we have to find whatever moki is or mochi. Okay, that's, you know, we'll find it. We'll figure it out. Oh, and then the fridge. All right, well, let's let's put our furnace in. Um, fridge, that's, that's right. The fridge is something else we can craft. Okay, which way are you facing? Where's the... This looks like it might be... There we go, perfect. Okay. Oh, look at that. It comes with 20 wood. Okay, well, if we put that in there... Okay, so it's three pieces of sand to make one glass, it looks like. Okay. Uh, well, it's something. <laughs> All right, what else do we have going? I don't think we can do... We're not going to be able to do the cauldron until we get the glass. But other than that, it looks like we have everything else that we need. All right, well, that's something that I guess we can save for the next episode. Because um, I'm pretty sure that our half hour is about up. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to call this uh, for this episode. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a whole lot done off camera. I may just go out and just get resources and just worry about that. So we can focus on getting the crafting benches and finding out what our next steps are going to be to advance. So thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. I really hope everybody has a fantastic rest of the day. And this will probably be going up on Monday, but it is Friday for me. So I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, or rather had a fantastic weekend. And uh, until then, I'll see everybody in the next episode. So bye, guys.